Hey guys, welcome back. It's Katerina. Hope you're all doing well today. Coming up to the end of June, so it is time to do our June favorites. And I have three fails this month as well, you guys. I don't know what is going on. Some makeup is just not working out for me. So we're going to start on the positive note and start with all of the favorites, and then we'll talk about the unfavorites at the end. So let's get started. <laughs> since it's what my last video was about. This self-tanner is amazing, you guys. Like if you saw my last video, the only negative thing about it is that it takes forever to dry, but everything else I love so much. It's affordable. This is a Jergens um, Natural Instant Sun, and in that video, I show you kind of like how I apply it, everything like that. It, I did apply it last night, and this is the color that I get. Lasts about five days. It's just a really awesome product, and it's about $12, and you get six fluid ounces. So you get a lot. It's mousse formula. It's awesome. If you want to know more information about this, my thoughts, everything like that, then I will link that video down below. Next here we have a facial setting spray and this is something that's kind of new to me because I had tried facial setting sprays in the past like Urban Decay, Scandinavia. They just didn't really work out for me. I didn't really notice anything from them and I just felt like it was kind of money wasted if that makes sense. Um, then I came across this hard candy one and this is a Fast and Fabulous makeup setting spray. It kind of like diffuses all the powders onto your skin so if you're ever working, worrying about being cake faced or anything just spritz this on you're good to go. Also what I really like about it is again it's just so refreshing especially on these hot summer days it's really nice to just like take a moment and just helps you cool off and it's just relaxing and it smells like a really light kind of rosy fragrance really really like it nail polishes and I did want to mention these also because in my last couple of videos I've been getting a lot of questions on what nail polishes I've been using these are both from LA girl I placed a little order on there and I picked up two other nail polishes and I love them this one is the color that I have on my nails right now it is two coats of it though because these do go on kind of sheer this is in the shade dainty it's just a very light peachy nude I love it so much it looks really good with the tan and this is what I wore in a couple videos ago and a lot of people wanted to know what color this is so this is love notes I think these guys are like $1.99 or $2 each and I mean they don't last the longest and they are very thin and light so you have to kind of layer them but the after color I think is really beautiful foundation of the month and I did want to mention this because you guys know this month I did review the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Foundation I always like to kind of update you guys at the end of the month of just like my total thoughts if it made it into my favorites if it didn't Unfortunately, this did not make it into my favorites. I don't hate it, anything like that. I really, really like it. But for my super oily skin, it's not as long-lasting as I'd like on me personally. But I really, really love mixing this in with my other foundations to kind of create that flawless-looking skin. It looks really natural, kind of satiny, but this will still control my oil. So no, it did not make it into my favorites, but I still really love it and I still use it all the time. I just mix it in with other foundations. For this month, though, the foundation that I've been reaching for the most is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. Of course, you guys know I do have a full review and demo on it. I'll link it down below. This is the foundation I have on today. It's just so good at locking in my oils, keeping me matte, being a medium to full coverage, and just lasting all day long. I love it so, so, so much. Right here it did make it. This is the Salon Perfect Brow Pomade. You guys know I talk about this all the time ever since I got it, and I do have a full, like I mentioned, review and demonstration. It's what I have on my brows right now. It's the only thing I've been using on my brows. It's like $6. It's a brow pomade. Um, this one's in light brown, and it's actually like a deeper kind of brown to me, and it's just stunning, and I'm just so obsessed with it. Definitely have to mention the LA Girl Glazed Lip Paints. These are also something I picked up this month, did a whole review and swatches on these six shades. I cannot get enough of these. Whether I want to put them all over my lips full blown for a really bold, bright lip, or if I just want to dab it on my finger and do dabbing motions, they can be like everyday colors. The color that I reach for the most, because it's most wearable, I think, for like every day, especially spring and summer, is the shade Elude. This is a beautiful nude shade. I've been wearing it in quite a few videos. But like I said, if you want to see all these swatched on my lips, I will link that video down below. Um, they are about $4, I believe, each, and you get so much in here. They're so creamy and pigmented. I just love them. You guys are probably sick of me talking about this, but these are my favorites, and so this is what I've been using for the month and I've been using this ever since I got it so of course I'm still going to share it with you guys it's a Simply Spoiled Perfection palette and you guys probably have seen me use this literally in every single video recently I just can't get enough of it it's of course what I have on my face today I use the contour shade um, the banana shade and then this peachy shade these are the colors that I use the most but of course I do have a full review and demonstration on how I use this on my face if you want to see the colors in action I just cannot say enough good things about it you guys it's it's so amazing and 
it's changed like my contouring routine. I just love it. I have an eyeliner to mention because I finally, finally found an eyeliner that goes onto my waterline, doesn't irritate my eyes, and it lasts all day long. And this is thanks to you guys. You guys recommended the Rimmel Scandalize. And the first time I picked it up, I picked up the one that had glitters in it, which is a no-go for my eyes. But this one is in the shade black. And it's a very true black. It's very black black. <laughs> and I just love using it to tight line. That's what I really wanted, something to tight line, line my waterline with that isn't going to smudge, isn't going to irritate my eyes and this does it and it's super affordable as well. This is a blush that I always gravitate towards in the summertime and it's kind of odd because it's a more fall like blush you would think but for some reason I always gravitate towards this. This is a Milani baked blush in the shade Red Vino. It's what I have on my face right now and I think I gravitate towards it because it gives you a very light, kind of like, not sunburnt look, but very warm and rosy um, to add to a tan for the summertime in a very flattering way, if that makes sense. So it is a very deep, beautiful red, but on the cheeks, when, when you have a tan, I think it just makes you look even more tan, like you've been kind of just sitting out in the sun, and it's just very beautiful and radiant, and I just cannot say enough good things about it. Two more favorites, and then we'll do the three unfavorites. So this right here is a liquid lip paint from Trust Me Cosmetics. I'm in the shade Ridiculously Red, and this is so stunning, you guys. It's a beautiful, beautiful red. It's very rich in color. It's like a true red with a hint of a blue undertone, I think. And it has literally become one of my favorite red lipsticks or lip products because it lasts all day long. It goes on so evenly, and it doesn't feather or bleed or anything like that. If you guys want to see... Um, how to create the perfect red lip and make it last all day. I uploaded a video on Trust Me Cosmetics blog. Um, I'll link it down below where I'm focusing around this and just showing you a very beautiful, long-lasting, bold red lip. And my last favorite is this Trust Me Cosmetics pigment. This is like a copper pigment. Oh my gosh, you guys. So it comes in like a little jar like this, and I just always like to use what's in the lid. But it is so beautiful. So there it is, swatch. It's so metallic, has a beautiful sheen. It goes on the eyes so wonderfully, and you don't have to wet it to get that beautiful pigment. That's something that I really like about it. It's just stunning, and I, I've just been wearing it nonstop. Okay, so a couple on favorites, and I'm really disappointed. We'll first start off with this um, NYC Smooth Proof Liquid Lip Stain. If you look at it in the tube, it looks like it's what I have on my lips right now. But it's not, because that's what I wanted it to look like. It does not go on like this. It goes on very patchy, and then afterwards it settles into your fine lines, and then kind of grips around the outer portion of your lips to make it look like a lip liner, and then just kind of like nothing's in the center. Um, I thought it was going to be a really beautiful shade, and it just doesn't work out for me. If you are wondering what I do have on my lips is the Maybelline... Um, Color Sensational Lipstick in Mauve It Up. It's a beautiful cranberry purple shade. I love this so much. This has been like a favorite for years now, this shade. I love it. I see Smooth Proof Liquid Lip Stain is a no-go for me. Don't like the formula. Wasn't really too fond of the color. Um, it's not really exactly what I thought it was going to be. It's a little bit more on the brown side, but yeah, it just didn't work out for me. The fail for me is, makes me sad because it's a concealer. You guys know I love my concealers. It's the Rimmel London Match Perfection Concealer and Highlighter in One. I got mine in the shade 245 Light, and this stuff is an odd color. It like has a gray undertone, so it does nothing for brightening up my under eyes, concealing, anything like that. It's too liquidy and like thin for me to apply it on blemishes or anything like that, but yeah, it just has a really strong gray undertone, and it just, it makes it look very chalky and just unnatural under my eyes, so the Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer is a no-go for me, unfortunately, but just didn't work out for me. Actually, when I was ordering all that stuff on LA Girl, I also picked up their Pro BB Cream, the HD High Definition Beauty Balm. Um, this was pretty new as well. I was really excited to get my hands on it because I wanted something really light for summer that was going to give me really light coverage, but nice, um, would last all day long, and just look really beautiful and natural and easy to do. So I picked this up, and I got mine in the shade Neutral. And I, number one, I'm pretty sure it broke me out because that was the only thing that I used different um, that day when I when I did try it. And the next day, I woke up with a bunch of breakouts. Also, the color is the color is great, but also it it does nothing for coverage. And I did want just a little bit of coverage, and it's too luminous for me. So if you have dry skin, I think you might like it. Um, but it was just too luminous for me. I'm still gonna maybe play around with it, but again, I'm pretty sure it's what broke me out. So 
I try to stay away from things that break me out. But yeah, it just didn't work out for me. Guys, so that's everything. Those are all my favorites and couple unfavorites for the month of June. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Also, please let me know down in the comment section what is one of your favorite products for the month of June. What have you guys been loving? I love connecting with you guys and talking beauty. You guys know this. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date with all of my new videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Welcome back, it's Katarina. Hope you're all doing well today. 